let's take a few steps back. Let's start. Where where did you go to uni and when did you decide this is what you want to do? Okay. So I did uh, my undergrad here just in Kenya and Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I studied uh, BBIT, so business and IT. Uh, majored in uh, database administration, did All a right. bit of software development, yes, and uh, bumped into digital at some point. wasn't part of my coursework, but mm -hmm. was more like a hobby. Okay, okay, and okay. that's how this whole journey, you know, began. It was mm -hmm. nice to hear you say, you know, what should someone study? Because yes. I mean, I was in that confusion. Hey, <laughs> it is a very big confusion. People are like, I'm studying this. So, what exactly am I going to do with this degree? Do I have a hobby? Do I have a passion? This very, very tough things. You know, so you picked it up along the way. Yes, I picked it up along the way while in uni. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of those things of, you know, we have an event, we need someone to help us post on social media, and mm -hmm. you're like, okay. You know, then before you know it, you realize, okay, maybe, you know, this is something I can do. Yeah. My friends are challenging me and telling me, maybe you should make it your career. And at that time, yes. of course, it didn't look like a career. Right. I mean, I didn't know any Kenyan, mm -hmm. personally, who was doing digital marketing. So it's one of those things I just ignored. Yes. You know, and moved on from. So along the way then, I said now helping more friends, you okay. know, family. Yeah. Next thing, you, you get a gig and you're told, um, you know, we need you to run ads and you don't know how to run ads. And, mm -hmm. you know, quickly run to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> learn a few things. Right, right, right. Yeah, but as that grew, you know, managed to find out a few digital marketing courses online, yes. free ones. Of course, that's what oh, I wow. was looking for. Okay. You know, so did a bit of that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're here today currently doing my master's in digital communication. So it's been worth it. What? What? So that's satisfying completely you have mentioned something that uh, caught my attention there are like particular that we don't have like a particular undergrad that is training you on matters digital entirely right so it's personal effort you must also decide you're going to research you must know the right things where did you get all this information from is it from friends am you just sat down on your computer and you're like let me google how can i become a digital marketer how did that go down in terms of you know stocking all this knowledge on all these things so for me, it was more of as every event came, then there was a new need. So first event was just posting. Second mm -hmm. event, someone tells you, in addition to posting, I needed to run paid ads. Okay. Then I ran to YouTube. Oh, wow. So The I university of YouTube. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So before I knew it, then yes. I now started visiting like um, the websites for some of these social media platforms. And mm -hmm. you'll be so shocked if mm. you visit some of their websites. Mm -hmm. There's quite a lot of information that can, you know, give you the basic steps as a digital marketer when you're starting off. So at yes. least now I had an idea, even if it's looking for courses, mm -hmm. do I want to do content creation? Do mm -hmm. I want to do ads? Do yes. I maybe, you know, just want to do the reporting side of things? So, okay. you know, I'd post for post, but not do reports because that wasn't my problem. Yeah. They just wanted <laughs> me to do that. You've already done your job. Yes. <laughs> you get paid, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I love it. I love it. What is the most headache thing about the industry that you're in. I mean, you have, you started off, uh, you know, just posting and then you developed into even having your own consultancy firm, right? What is the most hard thing that would you would say nearly broke you? You were like, ah, let me just go back into doing matter, matters, yeah, mitan, mitambo, yeah, BBIT. What's that thing? I think the unpredictability of reports. Mm -hmm. Most people now assume that when you do digital marketing, mm -hmm. you're going to be selling online. Okay. It's a journey. Yes. It's not a one day thing. Mm -hmm. Like I meet you today, you know, we have to build a sort of relationship to get to a certain level. Absolutely. So think of digital like that. So I think the hardest part is now that having to analyze and explain reports to clients mm -hmm. and have them be like, okay, I understand that, you know, we are at step one mm. and, you know, we'll wait for the next step. Yes. And also just the, the, the shock that comes with probably, you know, one week, mm -hmm. your, your insights are really good. Mm -hmm. You know, the next week, anything could happen. True. And it's numbers, so yes. I, I, I can't start changing them. You know, yeah. the dashboard is there and I have to stick to that dashboard. Correct. I think that's the toughest part. All right. Interesting. So